Hello, everybody, especially new players toward the visions today. We're going to be talking about all of the global units that are in the game. And you might be thinking, well, I just did a, a video about all the units that got upgraded. Well, that's not all of them. There are a ton of global units and you can actually pull all of them right now if you really wanted to. So here's the actual list. We can see Shadow Links and I, Sylvie, Esther, Ibarra, Starlight Elena, Suzanne, Dwayne and Freyavia. All of them can be pitied with the summon coins that you get from pulling on the banners. So if you were to pull on Dwayne's banner, you would actually be able to acquire all of these summon coins. What you could do is you could pull on the nine step and as you go along here, you get two free summons and you could spend 36,000 Vizior and that would get you 200 summon coins. Another way to do this is to pull fully on Dwayne's banner. And when you do this, when you get to 100% up at the top there, you will get a free Dwayne at that point. However, you still have all of your summon coins. And with those summon coins, you will be able to buy a second unit. So you could get two 100 cost global units uh, for doing one banner pull. That's actually a pretty good deal. Now you don't get shards in that way. Like normally you can spend that 200 uh, summon coins on the units shards to build them faster. But these are units that come by, uh, you know, semi regularly. They, they don't, they're not like, you know, it's never a question of when they'll come back. It's just, uh, you know, Sorry, it's not a question if if they will come back. It's a question of when. So getting multiple units and slow building them using the barracks, using uh, the hard quests, those are actually some viable strategies here uh, that you can kind of consider. So uh, which one of these ways should you actually pull for them? It's going to be up to you. I think that if you want two units, then actually going for the bar so that you can for sure grab Dwayne, like no problem. You grab him from the bar if you have to, uh, and then grabbing these second unit with the coins is probably the way to go if you're going for just Dwayne then maybe you're going to or maybe you're going for just a different unit like one of the Elena or something then you would probably work in the nine step uh, just to get the cheaper uh, path to actually getting the 200 coins but as you're actually pulling on these uh, these banners you can actually see that there are units on here. The global units are on this banner. So there's a chance you get Shadow Links. There's a chance that you get Sylvie, Ibarra, Esther. They're all on here. The problem is, is that they're not rated up. When we That's on the nine step. And when we go over to the regular banner here, we can see that there is a bit of an upgrade on the uh, uh, Fravia compared to the other units. And then a little bit more of an upgrade for Sylvie, Starlight, Elena, Esther, etc. And then down here, we have the you know the whatever the rate is for your other five uh your other ur units so what does that mean it means that if you're pulling on the nine step that you don't have a good chance of off bannering a, a global unit that's just not going to happen necessarily if you're pulling on Dwayne's direct banner which again if you want to get multiple units it's the way to go okay because once again you get your Dwayne for sure once you get the bar up you have 200 coins to spend on other global units and you could also have a higher chance of getting a global unit along the way. So lots of decisions to be made uh, for new players. If you are going for Dwayne, then I suggest that you do grab his vision card because it will be a nice pairing, especially because you won't have a lot of vision cards. If you're a new player that got Sephiroth, then if you get Dwayne, his vision card, Sephiroth's vision card, they both benefit from that. All of a sudden you have a nice little team going on that could be a, a foundation for a very good PvP team for you uh, and as i said in my other video for the ultra patient the people that are saving for full metal alchemist Dwayne will come back eventually it's not a huge deal you can also get raft down the road as a dark tank that will ultimately replace uh, Dwayne. uh you know once she's out so not a huge deal to not to not pull for him and to not pull for you know his vision card right now but if you're into it then this isn't a terrible way to get them and you could very likely get some other units along the way as you go. I should also mention that we have the global unit in Mind Sphere, and again these are always good so just go ahead and do this. Uh, it gets you some some medals as well so uh, this is a good thing to do if you're building the units it's a good deal for any of the units here. I heard that there's a bug where Shadow Links on Ice is not actually included on the ticket I'm sure they're going to patch that if, if she's not showing up for you. So just be patient and submit a ticket for that. Uh, but just something to consider.
Now, another thing to consider is that all of these units also come with their own vision cards, and there's so many to choose from. If you pull on the five-step banner for the Dwayne vision card, you actually get a select ticket to pick the vision card that you want. So if you're not actually going for Dwayne and his VC, maybe you're going for Esther and her VC, that is attainable. Uh, and if you do pull enough on those banners, you can actually get some select tickets for these vision cards as well. Uh, although I wouldn't pull on the banner any more than you have to after you've actually pulled the card uh, that you want to pull. We can see that on these banners there is a chance of actually acquiring the vision cards for these various global units so they are on the banner. The rate is the same as off bannering any other UR vision card however so it's not likely that you're going to get them over any other vision card. Uh, the only thing that gets a rate up here is specifically Dwayne's card. So we can see here that if you pull on this banner, you pull the five steps at the very end, uh, you will actually get the applicable vision card uh, guaranteed. You get to select it. It's basically on the on the fifth time. And you can actually do this uh, summon twice. So if you wanted to get two vision cards, then you could acquire both of them. It's also worth mentioning that these global units are technically on the vision card banners, but again, not very high rates at all. So now the question is, should new players be pulling for any of these global units? And it is a very good question and it's a hard one to answer because it's kind of subjective. It depends on, you know, what you actually are interested in this game. Are you interested in a specific element? Are you interested in a specific weapon? And if you really like a character, you should just pull for them and just have fun with that. Uh, but otherwise know that these units do return. So if I was to give you my personal advice, I would say that you're gonna skip most of these units. So let's kind of go through them each. Shadow Links on Ice is a dark damage dealer. She's got decent damage, uh, but there's nothing too special about her. Unless she gets some buffs, I would probably just skip her. Sylvie is actually a very interesting unit because she is a pretty capable healer in the light elements. I actually think a lot of players, especially new players, would enjoy having her because it fills that role of healer on your account. She could actually operate inside of multi-element parties and heal for any of your teams and she might carry you through some PvE content as well. So she's not a terrible choice. I actually really like her. I kind of wish I had her. I don't know. I don't want to spend on her because I have a very specific goal for my account. Uh, but I actually really like her and I think people, you know, could do worse than pulling for Sylvie. Uh, Esther is a really interesting unit because she's so darn powerful, but she's also so weak to magic and she has, you know, a lower accuracy. You really have to build up your accuracy to take on uh, some of these evasion units. She's a great lightning unit and she can do a little bit of tanking against physical. She's really sh where she shines is against physical teams, uh, but again, Unless you're really into great swords or lightning units, then I would probably skip her. Uh, Ibarra as well, lightning magic damage dealer, has a ton of damage, has a bit more survivability. You know, probably wouldn't recommend her either, although her vision card is pretty nice. As Also, Esther's vision card is super nice. Uh, if you're going into lightning, you could consider it. Otherwise, I would probably just skip it. Starlight Elena is one that uh, I think light players could go into. I think that if you run her with uh, with Jaden, if you run her with uh, Sylvie, who we just saw, she can make a pretty good team. And especially if you're going to be committed to investing into evasion, then you'd want to get her and her vision card. Um, but otherwise, if you're not going to commit to evasion uh, and you know you're just looking for a plug and play unit, then she's not gonna be that easy to build. And the same can be said for Zazan the Unkillable because he is an evasion unit that you have to put all the effort into. Uh, he's got some cool survivability techniques. He's got uh, a lot of damage and penetration uh, that makes him very uh, appealing, especially both these units, Elena and Zazan, for their chaining and, and high damage capabilities in PVE. Uh, they're, they're really solid units for PVE uh, and they're both decent PVP units, but there's a lot more commitment on the pvp side of things uh Dwayne, i already kind of mentioned in that other video that he's a good partner for sephiroth especially for those who are building up a dark account and don't have a lot uh, to start with he's going to be a capable kind of pseudo tank that can take some hits but not a lot of hits he will go down you know quite easily if he gets chained down, if he gets attacked by, you know, multiple fire evade units at once, but they've added some pretty solid stuff to his kit. I am a fan of him. And I do think that people wanting to add to their dark collection could go ahead and pull for him and his vision card. And then we have Fryavia, who I think that most people should skip. She's a tank. 
uh, specifically a magic tank and she can actually heal as well. If you brought her into PvE, she can actually solo a lot of like multi brutal stages on like on, on multiplayer uh, by herself, which is actually really interesting because she has the healing, the tanking, etc., uh, and then the magic damage. So she's she's an interesting PvE unit. She has her uses in PvP, but really, uh, you know, I, I think she's kind of outclassed by what else the other things that Ice has to offer. So to recap there, I think that Dwayne is really the big unit to go for here if you're building dark. Sylvie is a very interesting choice if you want a really good healer uh, that could build up a, a potential light team in the future. And then otherwise, it's pick your element, pick the character you like, or just, you know, skip them and kind of wait to see how your account develops and down the road when they all come back and you have the same opportunity with the banner and all the metal system, you can just pull them then. Okay, and then how about the vision cards? Let's take a look at it and, and see. I think that Dwayne's vision card is absolutely essential for him. I think the same goes, uh, you know, for Zazan's card. If you're going to pull for him, pull for his vision card. If you're going to pull for Elena, definitely get this vision card. It's actually a very good light card in general. The reason for that is that this card actually gives you 35% luck so that's a huge piece for an evasion team but it's also a card that can give a lot of accuracy to your light units so it's a very good all-around light vision card uh, this abara vision card here the wish upon a demon is a very very solid uh, lightning vision card and the reason for that one is that it is a 20 AOE resistance card, but also the bestowed effect gives 20 spirit penetration, which is a very powerful and not uh, common effect on vision cards. So to be able to give spirit penetration to your magic lightning units, uh, it's, it's just a really, really great card for them to hold. The same thing goes for the dreamiest egg, uh, which is Esther's vision card, because this card gives a bunch of slash resist penetration on it, uh, but also gives single target resistance. So this is a slam dunk lightning vision card uh, that will work with any lightning slasher but again you put it on a lightning physical unit and they have 20 single target uh, resistance for the whole team so this and uh you know a baris card are both very very uh, interesting options for lightning teams for people that want to play lightning units and like i've said in other guides the vision cards are one of the hardest parts of the game to actually develop because you don't get that many chances to get cards from the past so for a lightning team to be able to just double up and get aoe and single target resistance all in one right now it's kind of an interesting proposition but again you can get these cards later on they will come back Otherwise, we have the uh, the Fryavia card and we have the original Dwayne card. I don't think either of these are must pickups. So maybe they're cards that you can hope you off banner, but I would not be pulling for either of these if I was a new player. So just to summarize, there are specific cards you pull if you get the unit. So uh, cards like the Zazan card uh, you could get if you get the unit. Uh, cards like the Dwayne card, maybe even the Sylvie card. And then there's some generally good cards like the Elena card is just good for light teams. Uh, the Wish Upon a Demon and Dreamiest of Eggs are good for lightning teams. Otherwise, everything else on this list, I could take or leave. I, I probably wouldn't pull for any of them right now. They're things that you just kind of hope you get when you're pulling on banners down the road. Uh, when the global banners come back and maybe you decide to go for a unit or another vision card. One other thing to remind new players of is that if you pull for any of these units, if you go to the challenge boards, the bingo boards here, you can actually go and find some bingo boards for these units. So these are really good sources of shards, but also if you scroll down, they often come with a very nice weapon for that unit. So for example, with Sylvie, if you're gonna be pulling for her, you will actually get her sword, which is quite good. Uh, Ibarra gets a specific book uh, and then Elena, gets one of the best swords in the game. This is a very useful sword for a lot of units. Uh, so, you know, if you get her, make sure you do this bingo board. Do not skip these. There are, of course, some ones that I've already completed, which is why they didn't show up. So I will mention that this uh, Esther board comes with a very nice great sword with a lot of slash attack resist penetration. So another good sword to get if you do end up pulling for her. All right, so that's gonna be it. I hope it was useful, this video. You know, maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. 
I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below. And if you have questions, if you're like, should I pull for this? This is what my account looks like. You can ask those too. Uh, you can hop on my Discord. We have a Word Divisions help channel. I'm I'm happy to answer questions there, are, as are many other players. So, you know, if you really are not sure, come and ask. Be sure of it. Don't just pull on these units just because, you, you know, you think they look cool. And unless that's what's important to you, because again, if you like a unit, you pull for a unit. But if you are trying to make, you know, an educated a decision on how to power up your account then that's definitely something that is good to get a little bit of peace of mind by asking other people so uh thank you so much for watching and we'll see you all in the future video